In an attempt to destroy Al Qaeda training camp in Afghanistan and to target Osama bin Laden, US had fired Tom Hawk missiles from Arabian Sea in 1998. The missile took two hours to travel 1,100 miles as they were traveling at a speed of 550 miles per hour or at a speed of 0.7 Mach. The missile hit the Al Qaeda camp, but Osama bin Laden was not there. He left the place an hour back. A fast missile like Brahmos would have taken less than 30 minutes to reach there, which would have greatly enhanced the probability of kill. Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In today's video, we are going to talk about a new version of Brahmos, which is under development. This new version of Brahmos can travel near hypersonic speed, making it extremely difficult to detect. In fact, it's impossible. First, we'll talk about Brahmos existing variant or you can call it a baseline variant. Then we'll discuss about BrahMos 2 which is hypersonic version of BrahMos missile. Next we'll talk about the BrahMos X which is the newest addition to BrahMos. And at the end we'll also talk about the BrahMos NG or the next generation BrahMos missile. BrahMos is a supersonic cruise missile capable of being launched from multiple platforms based on land, sea, subsea and air against sea and land targets. It is the fastest super cruise missile in the world that can fly at a supersonic speed nearly three times the speed of sound which is around 3.2 Mach. Currently it has a range of 290 km but the efforts are also being made to extend its range. In March 2017, DRDO for the first time tested BrahMos ER missile which is also called BrahMos Extended Range Missile which is purportedly capable of hitting targets at a distance of 800 km. The BrahMos missile can now hit targets up to 600 km, which will be later further enhanced to 800 km. The missile cruising altitude could be up to 15 km and the lowest it can fly is 10 meters above the surface. The missile is capable of carrying a conventional warhead, which is a non-nuclear warhead weighing 200 to 300 kgs. What makes BrahMos so special is its terrain hugging capability, supersonic speed and pinpoint accuracy. It's nearly impossible to detect any missile with these features making them a formidable weapon. It also has an immense ability to evade various radars. Now let's look into the working of BrahMos missile. The BrahMos missile is a two-stage missile with a solid propellant booster engine as its first stage which brings the missile to supersonic speed before separating. Following this, the liquid ramjet or secondary stage comes into action and that takes the missile closer to Mach 3 in the cruising phase. It operates on a fire and forget principle that is, it does not need to be constantly monitored on its way to the target. BrahMos 2 or the hypersonic version of BrahMos is expected to have a range of 1000 km and a speed of Mach 8. During the cruise stage of the flight, the missile will be propelled by a scramjet air breathing jet engine. The missile system will likely use a hypersonic technological demonstrator vehicle HSTDV developed by DRDO. HSTDV is an unmanned scramjet demonstration system for hypersonic speed flight, which can act as a carrier vehicle for hypersonic and long range cruise missiles. Last year, DRDO test fired HSTDV. It is considered as one of the greatest technological advancements of India made in last 40 years as it paves the way for building futuristic missiles that can fly at a hypersonic speed of Mach 6 and above. As per sources, DID is preparing for its third hypersonic test demonstration vehicle mission HS-03. DID has started assembly and if the related tender documents are analyzed carefully, we can expect the third test to be conducted in the next 2-3 to three months. A hypersonic vehicle has a huge potential in both military and civil application. It can be upscaled as a hypersonic missile with its hypersonic speed. It will also pose a big challenge for interception. Scramjet engine could also be used in civilian passenger air transportation. It could cut down the time of air travel from India to US by one sixth. The hypersonic vehicle can also put satellites into lower orbit at a very low cost. Now we'll talk about BrahMos X which is going to be flying near hypersonic speed. The missile would be capable of reaching maximum speed of Mach 4.5. This speed is achieved by the current ramjet engine. The present ramjet sustainer 
can take missile up to 3.5 mac and the same engine with possible enhancements will be used to achieve the near hypersonic speed of 4.5 mac what is not clear is it its range will this missile will have a longer range than brahmos er or will it have the range of the baseline brahmos that is 290 kilometers brahmos ng or the brahmos next generation is a mini version of existing brahmos will have same 290 kilometers of range and a speed of Mach 3.5 but it will weigh around 1.5 tons 5 meters in length and 50 cm in diameter making Brahmos NG 50% lighter and 3 meters shorter than its predecessor the system is expected to be inducted in the year 2024 Brahmos NG will also have a lower radar cross section compared to its predecessor making it harder for air defense to locate and engage the target Brahmos NG will have land air, shipborne and submarine launch tube variants. The first flight is expected to take place in between 2022 to 2024. Initially Brahmos NG was referred to as Brahmos M. Additionally, Brahmos NG will have an ALS radar rather than mechanically scanned radar on the EJ-10 missiles. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.